Okay, let's look at these geometry is easy questions from um, the properties of triangles. The first question is really easy. It asks you what kind of triangle is DEF. So you can see all of these triangles are named DEF. Look here, DEF, DEF. So the first thing that we can see in this triangle is in this corner here is a little square. This tells you it's a right angled triangle and there are no obtuse angles in here. So this is an acute right angled triangle. Okay. And I'm going to put the abbreviation for triangle to speed this up. Then if we have a look at this one, you can see this question B, D, E, F has got these two little markings here. So that means that this kind of triangle is an isosceles triangle because it has two equal sides. So because this is an isosceles triangle, we can write isosceles triangle, but that's only going to be one mark. Okay. To get the other mark, what you have to do is you have to be specific. If you look at this, here is an angle that is clearly over 90 degrees. So if an angle is over 90 degrees, it is an obtuse angle. So this is an obtuse isosceles triangle. This triangle over here, also triangle DEF, it's got little double markings, but this means both of those sides are the same length. So this is once again an isosceles triangle. Okay. But this is now an acute isosceles triangle because if we look at all of these angles, they are all acute angles less than 90 degrees. Now this one says DE, so if I draw a line and I call it DE, okay, and then I draw another line EF, it says EF, so I have to start at E and go across to F, so this is F, and then it says DF, so I start at D and I come down to F, I have a triangle DEF, using these instructions DE, EF, DF, and they say they are all equal. So if a triangle is equal, we put the markings on like this. Side DE is the same size as side EF, which is the same size as size DF, side DF. So this triangle sides are all equal. So we call it an equilateral triangle. Okay. But this equilateral triangle, it is also an acute equilateral triangle. You actually can't get an obtuse equilateral triangle, but there we go. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Where's the next question gone? If we look over here, it says find the value of x. So we know this question is relating to the rule. Where's my pen gone? Let's get my pen back. Okay, what is the rule? The rule is that the interior angles of a triangle and we have to write out the rule always. The interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So interior angles are inside a triangle. Can you see they are all inside the triangle here? I don't like this pen. I'm going to change the pen color. Okay. So if we look inside this triangle, there are three angles inside a triangle. That's why it's a triangle. So we know from the rule that the interior angles, so this one is 50, this one is 60, and this one is X. They are going to add up to 180 degrees. So 50 plus 60 is 110. So this says to you 110 degrees plus X equals 180 degrees. So X must be equal to 180 minus 110, which is 70 degrees. Now let's look at this one. Interior angle X, interior angle 3X, interior angle 40 degrees. So we need the rule, which is interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. So angle X plus angle 3X plus 40 degrees is going to be equal to 180. Now remember, if I tell you that this angle is x, it means this value of x is the same as this value of x, but in this angle, it's 3 times x. So now if I have x and 3x, they are like terms. So 4x plus 40 degrees equals 180. Okay, so that means 4x 
equals 180 degrees minus 40 degrees. Remember, I'm doing inverse operations. So 4x equals 140 degrees. So x equals 140 degrees divided by 4. So x equals 4 goes into 14, 3 times carry the 2. 4 goes into 25. x equals 35 degrees. Now if we look at this triangle, this triangle says x, x, and x. So if I have three equal angles inside a triangle, this triangle is an equilateral triangle, and I just know x is going to be 60 degrees. But if I didn't, I would say x plus x plus x equals 180 degrees. x plus x plus x, like terms, 3x equals 180 degrees x equals 180 degrees divided by 3, so x equals 60 degrees. Luckily, I don't have to write that out because I know this is an equilateral triangle. Now look at this one here. Let's do this one in a different color pen because that's fun. Okay, look at this one here. This one, this angle is actually an expression. So this whole angle is some number x plus 8. So our job is to find out what x is. So if we say the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, because that's the rule, this is angle 1, this is angle 2, and this is angle 3 inside my triangle. So we are literally just going to add them together. My first one is x plus 8 degrees. My next one is... 2x and my last one is x minus 20 degrees so we just write out every single expression if you wanted you could put them in brackets but it's not necessary so the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 so we know that this set of terms is going to make an equation so i've got x plus 8 plus 2x plus x minus 20 and you can see those are the three angles of the triangle so now we have, once more, like terms, x plus 2x is 3x, plus another x is 4x. And now I've got 8 subtract 20. 8 subtract 20 is negative 12. And that is going to be equal to 180 degrees. So that means by inverse operations, to get rid of this minus 12, I'm going to add 12 to both sides. So 4x is 180 degrees plus 12 degrees. So 4x is 192 degrees. So x equals 192 degrees divided by 4. So 192 divided by 4. 4 fours are 16. Carry the 3. 4 into 32 is 8. x equals 48 degrees.